and hello YouTube and welcome back to another episode of The Zone TV Movie Entertainment with me your host Jonathan once again bringing you a new movie review today and it's for Wonder Woman that's right Wonder Woman is finally here people and it's about damn time I've been looking forward to seeing a Wonder Woman movie forever I mean come on she's one of the trinity she's the best DC woman superhero of all time she's actually the greatest woman superhero of all time period Marvel or DC I'm sorry but she is and like I said I've been geeking out about this movie I was hoping this would be really good because you know the DC movies are a little up and down but that's okay you know the DC movies are still good for what they are but some of them and um, you know like I said I was really hoping for this movie to be good and let's find out if it is so this movie is directed by Patty Jenkins and stars Gail Gadot or Gail Gadot but depends on how you want to pronounce it and Chris Pine and I gotta say right off the bat, this movie is brilliant. I really love this movie. This movie was everything I wanted to see in a Wonder Woman movie. And it gave us a great origin story for, for her as well. Because, you know, we weren't sure how they were going to handle her character. I mean, we got her in Batman v Superman. But then, of course, you know, it went backwards with her for her origin. And handled it beautifully. I mean, let's talk about the beginning. I mean... If you want to know about the Wonder Woman character, she's basically an oh, Amazonian woman who lives in a mysterious island known as Themyscira, and she comes to our world, the man world, after she meets a pilot, a war one pilot named Steve Trevor, and then she goes and travels with him to basically help him fight the war. And she's basically um, pretty a, pretty much a stranger to the new world. She doesn't know what they, like, why men and women are together, why this is happening, why that's happening, what's that, that. You know, she's one of those women that, you know, doesn't really know what the outside world is, you know, besides from her world. So she's very, very, um, pretty much, like, has no clue. She's pretty much like, like, maybe a caveman. If you brought a caveman from back in time, you brought him to the modern day world, he'll be like, what is this place? You know, he's a complete. She's a complete stranger to this world. So, like I said, I really dug that a lot. Seeing Wonder Woman, you know, you know, interact with you know, the modern day stuff, man, and like, oh, how is a woman? Because you know how in back in those days, I think in World War One time, women weren't exactly, you know, as the same level as men. You know, they were always beneath the men, because you know, men were more superior. Women were just their secretaries or whatever, you know, so she's looking at this world like, oh wow, this is incredible. And then, you know, obviously the movie goes on and then she does her thing and, like I said, go check it out. So, let's talk about the good stuff about this movie. Let's start with um, Gail Gadot. I think she really impressed me by being one of them. I remember when she first got cast, I was like, yeah, the woman from Fast and Furious, she's cool. She was good in that movie. And, you know, we weren't sure how she was going to do it because she's kind of skinny. And she's very beautiful as well. But, you know, she really bulked up in this movie. She really showed the physicality of, you know, being Wonder Woman. She really trained hard, to be, you know, obviously because of Batman v Superman. But then she got better to do the, you know, the stunts in this movie. So I really dug that a lot. I found that stuff where her, tr the, the, the action in the beginning of this movie, the ending was of the, the fight scenes were great. She did really well in that movie, so good job to her. I really think she's going to be Wonder Woman for a very long time. Then we have um, Chris Pine playing Steve Trevor, or Captain Steve Trevor, and once again, he's great. I mean, Chris Pine's a pretty cool actor. I like him a lot. He was good. Pretty funny, too. He was, like, I didn't expect him to be really funny for what he was, but he was really good. His chemistry with um, Gil Gadot really worked. And then it felt flat. It didn't feel like, they, they, you know, like the chemistry wouldn't work, you know. But it really did. And, you know, I was actually kind of worried about that because, you know, in the comics there, you know, that was their, you know, they were each other's first loves. So, pretty much. So, I was like crossing my fingers hoping that they would be, you know, pretty good together, you know, on screen. The way they talk, the way they interact with each other. So, that worked. Um, The, um, the action scenes were Amazing. The lasso looked at great. Wonder Woman doing her with the bracelet thing looked at great. Um, the war feeling of this movie really looked at cool. You know, I wouldn't mind seeing Patty Jenkins actually tack on maybe a, a War One movie or maybe a, a real war movie because I think she can handle that pretty well. She did pretty. She really handled the action really well in this movie. So good job with that. Um, 
the villains, the villains were good too. You know, they weren't exactly like you know mustache twirling, ooh ha ha, I'm gonna destroy the world kind of villains. They were just there, but you know, they are part of my negatives as well. But when I get to that, um, the other thing I like about this movie is how it felt like a Captain America movie. Like it's like they took Captain America's movie, slapped it into the DC universe, put it into the DC machine, press start and it became a Wonder Woman movie because if you really look if you compare Wonder Woman and Captain America they kind of have the same character if you if you really look at it you know mine is the whole backstory because you know he was in World War Two she's in World War One and then she, he's a strange to the new century that he's in she's a strange to the new world that she's in so it's kind of like similar things so I felt that I was like wow I was like I, at the moments I was watching Captain America one so that was cool um, this movie does have a little bit of flaws. You know, it's not, you know, it's not a perfect movie, but it's, like I said, it does have minor flaws. And for me, a couple flaws here and there. There's one scene to me, like, you know, there's a huge action scene and it's very cool. It's a very cool action scene, but I felt like, I, I don't want to spoil it, but it felt like, like they really just put a CG character in it instead of seeing... Gil Gadot do the thing, or even a stunt double. It was a CG character doing one scene of action. It felt weird to me that it goes from, you know, an actor or a stunt double, and then it goes right into a CG character. So that kind of threw me up a little bit. And the villains were, you know, they were cool, but they didn't get too much of a backstory. They didn't really have layers to them, you know? So I felt that was kind of weird. Um, the main bad guy is Ares, and he's in the end of the movie. And in the comic book, if you don't know who Ares is, Ares is basically the god of war, and um, he's basically one of the sole enemies of Wonder Woman. He was cool in the movie. You know, when you first, when you really see him at the end, you're gonna be like, "Wow, he's a cool character." I mean, he, well, she had some more fight scenes with her. I mean, the fight scene at, at the end with them to fight was cool, but I wish it was a little bit more with that, or we got to see him more in the movie, but. For that, that was okay. Other than that, um, and it was also too much slow motion. I mean, like, slow motion is cool, but I felt like, like, slow motion is kind of like 2000s. I don't know, it just feels w weird with slow motion. I feel like, even though it worked here, it just felt too much, was it? I mean, I mean, obviously there were certain scenes that could feel with the slow motion. It was cool, but, you know, after a point, it kind of got boring and weird. To see her doing the slow motion. I mean, obviously, she has super speed. I get it. But, you know, they could have made that a little bit better without the slow-mo parts. Like, if you seen the slow-mo action in, in the trailers, there were more to it and, and, and throughout the movie. And then, I don't know, it just feels weird to me. But other than that, those are the only negatives I have about this movie. I really enjoyed this movie a lot. I think this is my favorite DC movie um, so far of this universe. And I think it's up there for me. Personally... Um, next to the Dark Knight. I mean, it's not exactly a perfect movie, but it's like near, it's in that level of, like, it's in that category where the Dark Knight is, even though it's number one. And maybe, man, you know, maybe the original Batman movies are there too, but it's around that area. I mean, not number two nor three, but it's around there. But like I said, I really dug this movie a lot. I'm so happy that we finally got Wonder Woman on the big screen because she's one of these characters that. You know, not only that she's, she's a role model for, you know, women and kids, especially little girls, but she's that woman that, you know, everybody can look up to because, you know, she's not just a powerful woman, but she's also has influences in, you know, throughout women, you know, itself. You know, women could see her as a strength and, you know, guys can look at her, yeah, sure, she's beautiful and everything, but, you know, she's not exactly a pushover when it comes to these two. You know, she's right in the middle. You know, she's basically that piece that makes the Trinity work. So, like I said, I enjoyed it. Now it makes my expectations for Justice League a little bit more better. I was a little worried about Justice League, but now I'm not too much. So I'm looking forward to seeing her again in Justice League. So, like I said, um, I'm going to give this movie a 90% out of 100. I love this movie a lot. It's great. Mine is a couple of flaws here and there, but still... I think it's a great movie, not a perfect movie, but it's still great. Um, so, make sure you just go check it out and go check out Wonder Woman because, like I said, it's awesome. So, leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought about the movie, if you've seen it. And are you looking forward to it? Are you nervous about it? 
do you think he's going to be bad? Leave a comment, but I hope this video helped you guys, you know, check it out for yourselves. You might hate it, you might love it, still, I think it's an awesome movie, so go check it out for yourself and leave a comment below. Let me know. Thank you very much and have a good day.